All right, let's do something a little different today. Let's try to memorize the fretboard. Uh, this is for my beginners. And let's use what we have in front of us, the dots, okay? Now, I will be teaching a scale in a moment, a little bit of music theory, not too much, so don't get afraid. But all we need to know is the open strings, right? If you know one note, you know them all. It's just going to take you a little bit longer to get there, but this is some shortcuts. So we know the sixth string is going to be an E, okay? We're going to just be working with the sixth string today, just the roots on the sixth string. And commit it to memory. That's how I learned it of the three and the five. Most guitars should have the dots on them. So three and five is always G and A. That's just something I always known. And then the seven is going to be your B. All right. Now I'm going to switch over to the piano to maybe give you a different layout and teach you the F major scale because that's going to give us an F, G, A, B flat, C, and D. So pretty much everything that you're going to want to be working with all in one scale. All right, so now we're on the piano, and I'm not asking you to play the piano or learn the piano. I'm just using it as a visual tool here. So if we want to start on this F note, we're going to talk about how to get a major scale just by starting on one note and then going through the rest. It's talking about a step or a tone. Now, they're basically the same thing. They're just worded differently. Some people call them as a step or a tone. And then if it's a half step or a semitone, okay? I'm gonna use step because that's the way I know it and that's the way I'm going to use it. So how to get a major scale, you have to start on where you wanna start on and then it's a step. So make sure you count the black keys as a half step, okay? So half, half equals a full. So for a major scale, it's going to be a starting on the root note, a full step, full step, half, full, 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 half. And that's how you get a scale. And in this one, it's going to be the F major scale. Again, we have F, G, A, B flat. Because at this point, we want a half step. Now, we want a full step. So take a look. Just look at the keys. Each key is going to be a half step. And each fret on the guitar is going to be a half step. So from B flat to C is going to be a full step. Going along with the pattern that we need. So C, full step again, D, full step again, E. And then the last sequence that we need is another half step to get back to our home base. In our case, it's going to be an F. So let's jump back to the guitar. All right, now we're back on the guitar, and if you skip the piano part, that's fine. I was just using it as another visual cue. And if you did, you learned that each half step equals one fret on the guitar. So what that means is, again, you have this pattern to get a major scale, starting on your root note, full step, full, half, full, 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 half, back to where you are, just an octave. Um, from your root position. Anyways, on the guitar, on the sixth string, you can learn all those notes, and then you can use this little trick to get the note on the fourth string or the D string. So what it is, is going to be skipping a fret, skipping a string, going lower. So one, skipping a fret, you're gonna land on three, and then skipping a string, you're gonna land on the D string, the fourth string. So six and four are gonna be the same note everywhere, no matter where you go on the fretboard, okay? So that's gonna be the sixth string and the fourth string. And then your first string is gonna be the same thing as your sixth string. So in all reality, you already have half of the guitar just by knowing one note, your open sixth string, all right? So same note, same note. Hopefully this helped out. I know I can make a longer video on this, 
but this is just our beginning stages. If this is something you want to see, leave a comment, leave a like, and we'll do a lot more into memorizing the fretboard.